And in terms of like your process as a director, like I think about the, there's lots of talk in the play about like old forms and new forms and do they need to fight and can they, you know, exist together. I started working with you like 10 years ago now. And when I first uh, met you, I, th you know, I knew you from uh, like, making original work from the Augusta Company and your work with Guillermo Verdecchia and Jane McIver. Um, <laughs> and then we worked together here on like mostly classical stuff. And a lot of our conversation has been about diving into playwrights like Chekhov. Do you think, how do you see those two elements of your practice in terms of um, how a guided practice uh, yeah, do, how do you reconcile those two different ways of working? Do you think of them as, as two different kinds of theater? Or Well, the demands are different, for sure. I don't think, you know, only once or twice have I ever taken on a project that didn't come from a core interest or a core investigation or question I had. Um, so um, that applies whether you're creating original work or or taking on a classic. Creating more original work than, than interpreting texts. I think my earlier work was much more leaning towards creation. And I think what that, partially what that does is it, it gives me a greater sense of the playwrights, not as a, a revered icon, but as a working artist. And I think, uh, it, it allows me to, to see the choices that a writer is making in a clearer way, both in terms of uh, perhaps uh, more emotional, unconscious inclinations, um, uh, philosophical inclinations, but also formal choices. And Chekhov is incredibly um, deliberate in his orchestration of these last four plays of his. And I think having created so many original pieces gives me a little more access to construction and what construction is. And, and, and I never get lost in a reverence for that playwright um, as much as I revere him as a, as a great artist. Um, I see him as a working artist. Um, and so I think that that's part of of, of how one aids the other. And I've always felt, for instance, that actors, all actors should write and perform their own work. I think it, help, it, would, it helps them understand, and I've experienced this, it helps them understand what it is to take on another person's words as if they are your own, as if you created them. Because if you don't have that experience of actually creating uh, text for yourself, in relationship to an audience and other actors, then there's, there's, there can be something a little remote about another writer's words. And that's a big theme in The Seagull. Totally. Yeah. <clears throat> that Chekhov has written these words for these actors, that um, Constantine has written this play for Nina, that Arena, his mother, is an actor who takes on the works of other people. So the women are actors in the play and they're defined by the language of male writers. And there's a struggle there. There's a really, uh, I think, um, original and sometimes unrecognized struggle uh, in terms of how people see Chekhov in terms of male, female gender. <laughs> I could talk forever about you, Chekhov. Yeah. yeah. Yes, our job is to mm -hmm. sit down at the table with Chekhov, not bow down at the mountain. Yeah. Do you know who told me that? No. You did. Oh. <laughs> Come on, that was uh -huh. a soft lie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>